Alright, I think we're all ready. I think we're all good. Wait for people to join, I guess. I should start by playing again. <laughs> working and uh, I got a very special surprise for you guys so I just uh, it's a matter of just waiting for people to show up I guess and there's a new news dash update <sighs> I'm gonna have to update that Hello, Goddess Maria. It's been a while. You also got a ping tuber. Yeah, I have a VTuber avatar. I just didn't want to. I don't want to set it up while I have the the PNG tuber thing. Like. <laughs> I wanted uh I, I wanted to set this up because I wanted something to um, to use like whenever I'm playing games and shit. <sighs> this is still <laughs> This is still all for the Collectathon Streams 2022 edition cuz those things are going to go a while. And I want to make sure that like everything works properly. Cuz I'm still interested in doing this. But I've also got something to show you guys. So I'm hoping for more people to show up. Watch the latest com updated on po uploaded on Pog. Yeah, I uh, I I I had that on my back burner. Got a few other things on the back burner too. Hopefully, I can get the rest of that done. Cause I also, uh, what was it, I also did the video, the most recent video on the Cloud Palace. And then, um, before then, I did a video with just a robot. So, you know, I have a bunch of nothing for my main channel. <laughs> but, I'll try to, try to get it. Background looks nice, can't wait to take it for a spin. What background? Mine? Or 
yours. I was like, yeah, mine's mine's not changed. Oh, the pog one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pog one is the pog one was fun. Happy Pride Month? Yeah, happy Pride Month! I drew, um... I drew... Uh, I, I, I... Technically, I drew straight for Pride Month, but... It's straight asterisk, because... Um... The, both my characters... Both the characters in the, the image... Are trans. So... Yeah. I, I drew that this morning for for Pride Month. <clears throat> My characters. We're so queer we went back to straight, yeah. Kind of waiting for more people to come in before I decide I uh, want to show off what I want to show off. You're hopped up on SF6 and FF16 hype right now. Shit's fresh as hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm actually kind of hyped on on SF6. I haven't played a Street Fighter game um, since I was like younger, and I played Street Fighter Alpha 2. And that was the only Street Fighter game I think I played. And it's, you know, now now so many years later I see Street Fighter 6 and yeah, it looks looks fucking dope. <laughs> Literally bought a fight stick for your PS4. <laughs> I mean, hey, if it works. Yeah, I, uh, just gonna, I, as I said, I'm, I wanna, I wanna wait, cause I still, I still got something on. Miss some of the press F6? Yeah, they, uh, they revealed the trailer for it. It was pretty hype. It looks really good. I, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really, really fucking good. Easily one of my favorite styles that I've seen, uh, in the past year. <laughs> Probably. Fucking open world Street Fighter 2. That's the weird part. That's that's the part that no one's talking about. SM6 is fucking open world now. Like. Someone show me Sakura. <laughs> uh oh. Computer has frozen. Oh, there it is. How? I don't know. But like in the trailer, you can see them walking around like a like an open world kind of area, and it's like that's really fucking cool. Hey, Ephraim. God, you're tired. Rough day today, huh? Feel bad for Mortal Kombat fans. Thank God every day they made me a Street Fighter fan instead. 
I'm actually much more into to Mortal Kombat than I was in Street Fighter. Not a rough one, just a draining one. Today is editing was draining, and then I had to watch a transphobic documentary or try to review of it. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. I mean, that's what I, that's what I grew up with. No, it was, it was. I, I don't know if I. Um, is it okay to tell this story on stream? Uh. I mean. This is not the worst story I could tell. Um... <laughs> so, I actually... I, I actually, like, really grew up with, um, Mortal Kombat. Like, when I say I grew up... When I, when I say I grew up with Mortal Kombat, I mean, like... We had a Mortal Kombat game for the Nintendo 64? We had a Mortal Kombat trilogy? And I played that when I was probably seven or eight. Like, we're talking real young. Um, and my family didn't really care. Um, but over the course of time, you know, since I grew up with, uh, since I grew up with that game, you know, uh, obviously the rest of, or my brothers and I wanted more Mortal Kombat. Um, when, whenever we saw a new game that we wanted. And we eventually got... Uh, Deception, I think it was. Um. And, uh. Well, my little brother was, I want to say roughly in first or second grade around this point. So he watched us play that game. Also, how'd your parents let you do that? My parents have... What? Okay. Full disclosure, my family, um, very apathetic. <laughs> my family, my family has always been a little uninterested in what the kids are doing. Uh, I grew up with that kind of upbringing, which is probably why I got into video creation when I was 13. Um, or actually technically less than that if you want to count the Sean the Kirby fan account, so probably roughly 12 or 11, but let's, let's not split hairs here too much, right? Wasn't there a Mortal Kombat beat-em-up? Yeah. But anyway, uh, also, hello Zombie Stardust, welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> but, yeah, um, so my, um, so, so my little brother played, you know, played some of the, played the, the Mortal Kombat game that we played. Uh, you know, uh, the, 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 one of the ones on the PS2. And, um, well, put it long story short, there was a, a community day over at my school. And I'm not even kidding when I say this. When they asked my little, when they asked my little brother what a community was to him, he responded with, it's where people kill each other. Um, so obviously we had Child Protective Services on our ass. Um, which was fun. No, I fucking hated it. It was awful. Uh, <laughs> I think I was in like fifth grade when that happened. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Child Protective Child Protective Services were kind of on my family's ass after that point. And, uh... <laughs> your little brother isn't wrong. I mean... He's not, but he was, like, a second... The first or second grader, he shouldn't have been saying that. Um... So, yeah, my, my family was put into a position where they had to deal with CPS for, like, a solid year or two. Or three. <laughs> um, it's uh, wasn't fun. Uh, especially, especially when that leaked over into middle school for me. So I had um, yeah. So I just, 
<laughs> I had to deal with, like, school counselors and shit breathing down my neck to make sure everything was, like, okay, but I never really got to, like, a core root of the problem or anything like that for me. Uh, mainly because, as far as we were concerned, I didn't have any problems. Uh, now we all know better. I'm very not okay, but... Yeah, uh, talking with school counselors was... Meh. Uh, didn't ever really get anything done. Didn't really learn anything. Um, so it was just kind of extra hassle, all because a second grader played Mortal Kombat. Um... <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, um, uh, that was a thing. That was a thing in my life. <laughs> hmm. But, uh, in any case, <laughs> yeah, school was, I've, I've, I've talked about it before, but school was a very interesting time in my, in my life. It's probably where a lot of my problems, uh, sparked from. Mind you, I wouldn't say all of my problems sparked from school, but probably a good 90% of them. So when we become a JPEG tuber and embrace box supremacy? <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to do the PNG tuber thing, though, because, um... Also, hello, Master Shadow. Yeah, I I had uh, an idea for the, the PNG tuber thing, so I'm just... I'm still waiting for more people to, to show up before I... I, I reveal it, but... Doodle Tones was bad in school? Not... Not really... Um... So, I was never like a big trouble starter, like I never... I never really purposely got into trouble, I was never like the bad kid or anything like that. I did get suspended a lot, but that's... Uh, because I got into a lot of fights that other people had. Um, when uh... When, uh, for example, whenever I was in, like, mi like late, mid to late middle school, um, I was, like, the tallest in my class. Uh, tallest in my grade, rather. Um, er, well, wasn't the tallest. I was second tallest. I, I remember Juan, there was a, there was a kid named Juan who was taller than I was. But, um, I, I was second tallest. I, I was I was among the tallest in 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 my grade, and, you know, in the school even. Um, and so pe people wanted to pick fights with me a lot, so I wound up having to get I wound up getting into a lot of fights. Wound up doing a lot of um, uh, self defense. The problem with that though is is I'm not particularly very like physically strong. Um, I'm not one that can throw a punch and have it like do anything or do any damage. So what I did was I stabbed people. Why did I start being homeschooled? Because uh, that was around the time that I came out as trans. So I came out as trans in ninth grade, and um, afterwards I kind of felt weird about being around all my uh, all my classmates because a lot of them started treating me like very differently. I even had, like, one kid, uh, go around saying that I was coming out for, like, all the wrong reasons, and, oh, you're only doing it for attention, you're not actually trans, I've known you since first grade, you're not actually trans, I mean, he, he was in pretty much every school that I went to, minus, like, third grade, so, I mean, he did definitely know me, but he was going around saying that, like, oh, you're being trans for, for, for attention and stuff like that. Um, joke's on him, uh, a year later he came out as gay. So, um, truly, I'm the winner here. <laughs> but, like, after I came out as trans, I felt very weird around the rest of my classmates. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna kind of fall into homeschool. And, uh, I hated every second of it. Um, I kind of wish I didn't. 
but oh well. I like how fucking ninth graders keep keeping you. Well, I mean, we were both ninth, ninth graders at the time. <laughs> was he also coming out for attention? No, it was just the, a year later he realized, like, how stupid that was and <laughs> he came out as gay. Uh, so truly, I am the winner. Uh, this seems to be a very common thing when people are transphobic to me. Uh, they come out as LGBT a little down, a little later down the line. I was going to say that he wanted to date Doodle back before Doodle was trans. Uh, who knows? I mean, we weren't particularly very close though, so I don't, I don't believe that. I don't, I don't think I inherently believe that. I actually do think I have a, like, a vague recollection of somebody asking me out in high school, and I think I turned them down. But... Usually homeschooling for the opposite. I... Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I... I wasn't... wasn't comfortable with a lot of my... with a lot of my fellow students, so... I... I... you know... Uh buried myself in homeschool and that first and foremost that really shot my social skills um a lot could not imagine doodle sounds on a romantic date <sighs> frankly neither can i it's not like i couldn't be romantic i've liked people before i've had two i've had two crushes on real people and one crush on a fictional character i refuse to elaborate on that last one but I've had, I've had crushes, I've liked people in the past, but I couldn't imagine myself on a romantic date either. Also, hello, Loro's Cutie Princess, welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay. But even if she's in a relationship, I couldn't imagine her doing a candlelight dinner or something, I mean, I'm too poor for that shit, that shit's too rich for my blood. <laughs> Just talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. Nah, couldn't happen. Dude, I all I've learned is that uh, all I've learned is that I have like a really I I have a very secret smooth side of me that just like never fucking comes out. <laughs> I um what was it? I need to find it. It was an it was a very, very funny moment. Uh in the Cloud Palace. Found it. So, um, do you guys know Maz or Jace? Or, uh, used to go by Eno. Doodle has untapped smoothness, yeah. This this was just like a fun little bit that happened in the in, in, in the Cloud Palace. Wait, who? Maz? M-A-Z? Jace? Eno? They're a commentator in the Cloud Palace. Point being. Um, but they were, uh... <laughs> I want to say yeah. Fair. I mean, if you don't, fair enough. You don't really need to in order to understand the 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 funny little the office move smoothness roughness probably. Um, but yeah. Uh, no, there was there was a moment in the the cloud uh, the cloud palace where they were in call with TP and I, and they were really really fucking tired. And I don't exactly remember what the context to this was. Um, like, I don't remember what TP had initially said that sparked this up. Um, did you know that platonic crushes were a thing? Donnie was telling me about those. I didn't, but in, in any case. Um, so yeah, I don't know what sparked this. TP had obviously said something. And then Maz was just like, uh, TP, did I mishear you, or did you just ask if you could eat the prisoners? 
Again, I don't really remember what the context was. It's not really important, though. Um, the point is, is that TP and I and, uh, and Jace, we all had a good laugh over it. Jace then, uh, responds with, shut up, I'm tired. TP goes, but you're cute when you're tired. And then I respond with, they don't need to be tired to be cute. And that was apparently really smooth. <laughs> It's a very funny bit. This is a very good time. Fun times all around. <laughs> Sounds like something TP would say. Yeah, TP was just like, oh, you're cute when you're tired. And I'm like, mm, they don't need to be tired to be cute. Just homies being homies, yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't read too deep into it. <laughs> it was just really funny though, and apparently it came off very smooth, and it was very funny. Kiss the homies goodnight, ooh. God. So yeah, there's apparently a... There's apparently untapped smoothness in, uh, in here. Hello, Akuma Ryu. Welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay. Those are cute. People be like CWC. Probably. <laughs> anyway. That was, uh. Yeah, that was, that was a fun little. Little, little sidetrack. And I can't tell who's all here that are like my normals and who's here that's not. Ultra Instinct Doodle is just extremely good at flirting with people, nothing more. <laughs> it's the Hidden Jasmine. Find the Hidden Jasmine. How's everyone today? Uh, I don't know. Kinda just here. Hey, Lumitro. Miss being on, uh, Discord on PC, just having an inside of VC call, listen to all sorts of funny stuff on the PC room, like snail nowadays. I mean, that's why I made the PNG tuber. Kumariu might be the first time somebody didn't struggle to say Kumariu's name. I mean... Is that not correct? Is that the wrong pronunciation? It looked right to me. If it's wrong, though, I mean, they're free to, to correct me. I don't know, but it sounds more correct than when someone like Taco Bangles in it. Fair enough. Watch it be Ryu for the Ryu. Yeah. Point is. You love being back in the SEC? The SEC's fun. Akuma Ryu. Eh. Possible. Who's there? Your left hand still hurts. Oh. Hello? Who's there? Why do I not see you on screen? Uh, because I'm a ninja. Oh, because I have the wrong. Oh, okay. Give me a sec. There no, you I, are. I, okay. I, I had to learn how to go be a ninja. Okay, give me a sec. I, I fucked everything up. What happened? I thought I had this set up. I thought I had this set up for the box. Nope, I had it set up for the Cloud Palace. Yay. I botched that one up. 
So how was the um the state of Massachusetts? Um state of play was I. Uh I definitely liked the look of Street Fighter Six. Neat. I didn't see the uh the trailer. It looks really good. Like I like I like what they did with the with the the stylings of it all. Like it feels like sh uh put it this way, it feels like a street fighter now. Alright, I'll I'll you know what, I'll just I'll just have to <laughs> mm, yes mm, take a look. What is this about, Mass? Don't worry about it. It's like the hedgehog walking simulator. I still think that was really funny. Am I gonna show you guys the thing now? Uh, how many people are in here? 13? How many people are in here that are regulars? Who is Luke's voice? I know him from somewhere. <laughs> oh, he's the dude from Ultra Age. Also, Luke is so fucking ugly still. Just a little shit who hops in for no reason. I mean, it's, it's fine, Lumi. These streams are here to watch, and no one needs to feel obligated to be here, so. <clears throat> oh my god, hello, chun -Li. Oh my god, Dad Ryu. I said Chumley for a sec, jeez. Yeah, this style is pretty good. This stream is relaxing. I try to make them relaxing. <laughs> With that said, I do have kind of a meme uh, at the ready. So, I like how the mouth is moving because Doodle is typing. Yeah, I can't really fix that. But, I, I speak in keyboard types, I guess, now. <laughs> Fucking Shinshore, you can. That went fucking hard. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. Like how SF6 now has the street art urban vibe to the aesthetic. Yeah, it feels like a street fighter now. It, it's really cool. Like it, it's just real badass. I'm uh. I'm personally hy uh, hyped for June 10th. Um. It's the big balance. Is that patch. when it comes out? No. Um, June 10th is the, uh, the, the big, big balance patch for Strive. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that maybe my boy could get a, maybe a couple buffs. I'm, I'm not gonna fucking cry or piss my pants. Or shit and come if Chip comes out of this and just like doesn't get too many good things for his kit. I just hope he gets something. I hope he gets anything. Noon 
new patch, Chip Zena becomes a ninja. Again. <laughs> okay. In any case, um... So I have a meme for you guys. Um... Those who are my regulars, probably, um, will know where this is more or less going. Uh, but, so, so if you guys remember the, the constant meme that has been popping up on my streams of, uh, uh of bimbo tones, um, I made sure that when I made this PNG, uh, when I made this PNG tuber model, I made a bimbo tones variant. Damn. I if only I could see it. I'll yeah. look in my I'll I'll go to Twitch though. Thank you for the follow, Zombie Stardust. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Suzy Dual Tones. You hey. almost got me. I mean this is this is something for my regulars. This is something my my regulars would have enjoyed more than just anyone who's who's just stumbled on my my stream. I instantly regret following. God. Nice. But uh Bro, where's Doodle? <laughs> I only see but... Doodle's true form. Sapphic. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, uh, I, I specifically chose to do this for the regulars of my streams. It was, it was not intentional, but, uh, <laughs> Christ. Oh, suddenly there's spike up in viewers, too. Mm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, Susie Doodle wow. Tones. But yeah, I, I made a I made a I made a bimbo tones variant specifically for those who are regulars on my streams because this is their meme at this point. This is a meme that they would enjoy. Uh yes. so I I figured that I would make a a, a a version of my PNG tuber that's just bimbo tones. <laughs> 100k points for an instant changeover. There's a reward. You're correct. This does give me a incentive for a reward. Um, you you are absolutely 100% correct, which is part of the reason why I did it. So <laughs> I'll probably have something like that set up um, a little bit later, because I'm still I'm still doing a bunch of setup, but. I don't know why bimbos are a popular thing now. You implied that they were ever not. Yeah, Daisy Fox shots like, what do you mean now? I mean, before this year, bimbo was an insult? That depends on who you ask, frankly. Because life is hard and sometimes you want to be sexy and turn your brain off. That's also true, girly wolf pup. I see a Bimbo Tones PNG tuber. Yeah, I can just switch between the two. So I can switch from, from Bimbo Tones to, to normal. Just It almost looks like a Mario power up. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do the fucking. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me, let me get the. Um, Mario power up sound effect. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that that well. Uh, I'm having such a hard time doing this. Whatever. Point is... It's just fire kind of doodle tones. <laughs> you know. Like flaming. 
god. She took the crown. <laughs> Bimbo was an insult the same way slut was an insult. Not saying nobody embraced the term, but most people said it to be mean. With that said, if people are embracing it, that's fine. Just saying you find it strange. I mean, these kind of just, these kinds of things just happen then. Like, words just kind of are, words just kind of cycle between, like, being good and not. So. Is there a command in here to see how long the person's been following? No. I have not. <laughs> I do not have that set up. Um, I don't actually know how to set that up. I think that's a stream elements thing, isn't it? I use Nightbot. Tippy Gilly, yeah, you can just click on somebody's name and, and see, see it themselves. Like, you've been following since... 2019. Daisy Foxtrot has been following since 2018. Oh wow, you've been following for a while actually. Jesus. I've been following since 2000. <laughs> Just before I I've been following sure. since before Twitch was a thing. Yeah. And before I knew you. I mean, the word gay used to be an insult, now it's just a term for homosexuality, and it's been embraced. Exactly! Moodbot can show it. Mm. Or onion. Just haven't gotten a chance to see, and now that I see, I look respectfully. Oh, did you... Did you just now see Bimbo Tones? Are you just tuning in? Are you just tuning in? Yeah. The first one was perfect, so I clipped it. It was. It was. I don't think I'm ever going to get a chance to do that again. So yeah, I have that. I'll probably have some other iterations of of my Sona. Uh, maybe. Probably set up something for that. Um, for, like, other channel points. I know people really liked the goth one that I made. So maybe I'll set something up on, on, that, on that end. Maybe. The zombie has followed Bimbo Tones for seven minutes now. Yeah. Like the new model? Uh, technically the new model is this. But, like... It's got an upgrade version. It's, it's up- it's upgradable. Yeah, I'm using Vito too. It's just because it's easier. I only need to make like what four things about uh, four things of it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to normal. But yeah. Natural blonde or does she spend too much time on bleach? Uh, it's dumb bitch juice. <laughs> yeah, you can like, see a, uh, a lot more uh, of the changes between... Like a lot more of the smaller changes between my Sona and Bimbo tones when I do that. Like there's the subtle skin darkening. Um, 
the nose gets slightly smaller on bimbo tones. I think that's just unintentional though. Hips get wider. So you can see a lot of the subtle changes there. I don't know, it's fun. Listen, I'm more than willing to do a science experiment to check if normal cleaning bleach will work on here. Uh, I wouldn't try that. Okay, th you wouldn't. It's why they would. <laughs> Fair enough. Dumb bitch juice sounds like something a guy would call Scott. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll need to create the, um... I'll need to, to create, like, a, a thing for channel points for it. Bimbo Tones also has bigger boobs, wider hips, tummy exposed. She's basically been wing wolfified minus the sparkle dog bullshit. I mean, it's not inaccurate. We talking smack about Wing Wolf? I'm not talking smack about Wing Wolf. Besides, yeah, no, she started we, it. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, Wing Wolf really is fucking shit talking herself. Bimbo Tone sounds like a nickname for Jasmine. I can see that. Literally true. Why did I press that button? Is Jasmine dumb though? Not really. I know Aaron would would like to disagree, but I disagree. not really. Jasmine's not really a bimbo. She's just kind of horny on me. Mm. <laughs> She's a fucking genius, literally. God. Yeah, man. Just look at the lore. I'm out of the loop here. I only know them for their art, so I'm a bit lost. Uh, yeah, no. Wing Wing Wolf. Oh, as as I said, Wing Wolf just said something, and I agreed with it. I thought it was funny. Shrug. It's not that deep. She's got her PhD in sexual advances. <laughs> <laughs> what a good line. What a what a line. She def <laughs> and, and and you wanna know the best part? She definitely got her PhD, I'll tell you what. Avi? What? Would you mind explaining what PhD means in this context? Yeah, she got like you said okay. Question. Does Jasmine fuck? <laughs> that is the idea. Then PhD stands for pretty huge dicking. Oh, okay. That's what, did what you I think it stands for. I, I didn't know, but I knew it was something. I knew it had to be something sexual. Yeah. Happy tapioca. <laughs> Gonna be blindfolded and submerged in pudding. Have fun, guys.
Fred, Fred may not say fuck, but Fred fucks. Ah, <laughs> uh, good God, you guys. I'll be here all week. Oh, cool, a wall level 178 May. I can't wait to have my fucking wiener turned inside out. Oh my god, the fucking 3k. <laughs> Daisy Fox shots just like up, oh, you can't just say these things. <laughs> why? I don't know. Any valid reason why. I don't know. Ow. Twitch TOS, I don't fucking know. This is true. Okay, you're right. Twitch... Yeah, Twitch is... Not a fan of... Oh god. Okay, squeaked out a victory. <laughs> Dude, the fucking Germa mod for Chip really turns him into me. You think your cat's gay? She keeps doing the hand motion thing? Huh. Pretty Paul went for his god. <laughs> trying to set up this fucking point reward thing, money, it's money, not... Money. It's not coming easy. Oh my god, no. Resize 56 by 56. Nah, girly wolf pup, I get mine outsourced.
You know, it being pink is it's probably. Yeah. It ain't the size of the screw. Ow. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Or how long would I how long would I would I want to do the bimbo tones thing for? Huh. Yeah, you guys can just hear Avi going at it. On strike. Don't worry about it. Oh. Can I? Can anyone hear fucking Germa, or is it just the uh, the fight stick? Just the fight stick. That's upsetting. <laughs> I just love how one of his win quotes is the entire like fucking monologue about like if if you go through a meat grinder and all that is left of you is your eyeball. You're fucking dead, bro. Alright, because most of you guys... Uh, well, I have... have today. I just realized. Huh. Most of you guys have probably a ton of fucking... Uh... Channel points. There you go. You got something to waste it on. <laughs> cool. We probably have a ton of it though. Probably should up the up the, the price for bimbo tones, frankly. Considering you guys probably have a lot, but a hundred thousand's probably good enough. They get fucking passed out like candy, it turns out anyway. And Photon's my comfort doodle. Raise it to 100,001. Six, uh, yeah. 690 at least. 690! <laughs> at least. God. Got over 180 channel points. As I said, most of you guys probably have a lot. But now you guys have something to spend it on. It's not much, but it's, it's... You know, it's something. Ephraim, those things get raked up, like... It's fucking crazy, especially since you're- you were given a uh, subscription. So you get extra points. But yeah, you guys should see the the rewards. Oh my god, I just ran into bird. The rewards should be there. There should be a new Bimbo Tone reward. Should be a pink uh pink square with a white heart in it. Uh, I should also probably clarify only applies when B2 or when uh when PNG tuber is on. I see it, but I am too poor. <laughs> Coffee, Someone redeem Cheetos, chicken. Someone redeem it to test it? I'd have to do it manually. I don't have it set up to like do it automatically. I don't even I don't know if you can set it up to do it automatically. I would love to try that. I think that'd be fun. Someone should make a documentary about the quest to get enough channel points to get bimbo tones. As I said, most of my regulars have them. Most of my regulars have that. Have that amount. Easily.
Oh, I forgot. Soul board guy. You can set it up. I don't know how, though. Well, until I figure out... I have to do it manually. I was saving channel points for stuff that I know ain't gonna be here anymore. Uh... Oh. I mean... I still have all of those channel point, or the, all those channel point rewards that I used to have there in case I ever decide I want to bring them back, but yeah, frankly, frankly, I, I'm not feeling like any of those. Oh, there's the redeem. There's the first one. <laughs> there we go. Test. Oh, again, it's not. There's no test there. I just, I just do it manually. But I know we now know it's, it's there. So we now know it's, it's redeemable. Oh my god. Fuck. So I have to do this for thirty minutes. So. And keep watch on that clock. Hello, Riddler Randy. <laughs> Lumi. Lumi and your cats. Lumi says we don't deserve cats. We truly don't. The baby just woke up, Moret, and all she uh, all she did was that little stretch, and is now holding my arm hostage. God. For ten thousand channel points, you can go on stream and yell about your problems to Doodle. That's a terrible idea. Absolutely not. Please ask obvious. Germa threatens to strangle his opponent's parents. I guess. Uh. Does it, does it threaten to what people's parents? Uh, Germa threatened to strangle his opponent's parents. Yes, he does. Oh, am I dead? By the way, apparently, according to Dio, um, Soul Bad Guy is like. He invented the concept of, um,. Of 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 uh, of 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 just just gay imagery, gay explicit energy. Comment Coon, I don't even have one. I'm not a furry. So I even if I did the next week by plank of wood. So like even if I did make one for channel points, it would be much more expensive than 500k. Mal was assigned furry, now you will be too. Look, Lumi, I've been dealing with this joke since 2017. Frankly, oh, yeah, I'm I'm, be... I'm just kinda okay. Here's here's the, okay, the thought I have. You can not be a furry, but still have, like, haha -ha funny sheep energy. I know that, but, like, Comet Coon has been saying that I've, I, I'm a furry since the fucking quad op with, uh, oh. Heat and Scarlet and Brooke came out. You know, back in 2017. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they say a good meme never dies, Jack. Is that why I still get called doodle diapers nowadays? Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. How did you have that on fucking, like, <laughs> you had that on stan- Like, has Crafty said that to you and you just had that as a fucking retaliate? How did you have that so fast? <laughs> because it never died. I fucking hate it here. I think my V2- 
Or I think my PNG tuber needs a little bit of a little bit of editing. It looks like the I didn't get the background well enough because I can kind of see through it. It's a problem. Well, Seymour, I've made it despite your directions. Ah, Principal. Or no, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. I hope you're forgettable. Or I hope you're ready for an unforgettable luncheon. Be back. OBS crashed. Um, which means now I need to go in and download the initial what? stream. What? <sighs> Can't believe Sting Tim's killed the stream. It didn't kill the stream. I just, I accidentally resized the, um, Vito 2, uh, window, and apparently that crashes OBS. Something to keep in mind. What the fuck? What is it a Celestial Potemkin doing in here? What did I do? I accidentally resized the veto tube, uh, window. So... <laughs> yeah, I accidentally crashed OBS, which means now I need to download the, um the previous stream and throw that into fucking Vegas and then render this, re-render this stream uh, for tonight. Uh-oh. Summer is coming and I fully plan to do a stream series for the summer, which is what all of this setup has been for. Someone has submitted the bloody steam tan copies pasta for that fanfic stream. Now got to be Skinner. <laughs> Did you get to be Superintendent Chalmers? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Lumi? Uh-oh. God damn it! Well, maybe that's why this the VTuber avatar looks so fucking like low fucking quality. It's because I forgot to fill in blanks where those where blanks were needed to be filled. Yeah, oh. Typically, whenever I do a drawing, I make sure that I. Uh, I add a black background to it, so that way everything looks all polished, I guess. Or at least as polished as I can feasibly make it with my fucking garbage. Oh! There it is. Obvious chilling in the back, yeah. Sent it your way if you want to read the chaos. Maybe later. I wonder if I can change the files on stream, or if I'm just going to crash it again. Yo! I'm, al I'm already unsure. Uh, 
got sent down to floor nine again. Let's go. You didn't organize another fanfic night in Mal server. We were dying at how awful the generated ones were. Oh, fine. Will we see an iconic Bimbo Tones Internet Himbo crossover? I don't even know who Internet Himbo is. Tippy changed the files on her PNG tuber today. So can I just go in and do that? Let's let's see. Let's find out. One. Uh it looks like yeah, you kinda can. It looks a little weird, uh, doing it, but There we go. Yeah, now it looks a little bit more finished. It doesn't have the fucking... It, uh, doesn't have the... The weird look on the, the choker. Do I know who Internet Hippo is? No. No, I have no idea. One of them had Mal X creep show art. Jesus. He runs a streaming channel called Internet Himbo. I don't know who that is, so shrug. Dude, honestly, I don't... I don't know if I, uh... I don't, I don't know if I'd ever do, like, a collab with a, a VTuber that's not... directly a friend. I don't, I don't know how well that would, that would turn out otherwise. If you're considering law school, remember he passed his bar exam and now he's a purple hippo online? Huh. Well, I was definitely not considering law school, so... Sounds chaotic as hell, TBH. I'd rather, as I said, I'd rather... Uh... Collab with a friend. Mainly because uh, a lot of my streams are in jokes. <laughs> Frankly. Doodle Tones is an officer, not a lawyer. No, 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 no. That's that's Gastro Tones. I get that completely. I don't know if I'd be able to collab with another VTuber that's not a friend either. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like... <sighs> Frankly, I just... I don't know. I'm always... I'm, I'm always, like, unsure if collabing just period is a good idea for me. Because I'm me. <laughs> it's a worry. It's the police five should be it should have bimbo tones as a lawyer, let's be real here. Nah. It just I I, I came up with an idea for, for it's the police five. I don't know if Avi wants to go with it or not though. Avi. Huh? I was saying, uh cause, what was it? Ephron was like, it's the police five should have bimbo tones as a lawyer, let's be real here. And I'm like, no, I already have an idea for, for it's the police five. Uh, yeah. I talked about it with you. I don't know if you're still down to do that. Sure, I am. I'm down to do anything, Doodle Tones. I'm like a fucking... I forgot what I was going to say. I'm, I'm in the middle of the fucking... The British Blender. Understood. Yeah, but after this game, I'm probably going to have to scoot. Probably dinner time. Oh, okay. Fair enough. 
Honestly, the odd numbers, it's the place ones are always the best. Well, I mean, that's one in three. One in three which, are pretty yeah, good. Yeah, are the best ones. Yeah, one in three are the best ones. Out of the out of the four, I'd rank it like from worst to best. Um, two, four, one, and then three. Dude, I love how three was just was the one we didn't do on on a April Fool's Day, and it's just the and best it's one. The best one. Yeah. yeah I, one day we'll match it. I would it. say. Yeah, I would say from worst to best, in my opinion, it goes two, four, one, and three. Uh, I like, am going to have to scoot for dinner. Bye. Alright. But yeah, um... I don't know, two is fine. Two has some moments. Two has, two has some things that I, I like about it. But four has... I think the reason why 4 doesn't really gel a lot with people is because a lot of it is very... Uh, like, there, there's a lot more visual gags than there are, like, recognizable, like, one-liners. Kind of like all of the other It's the Places. Because with all the other It's the Places, you have, you know... Um, you have, like, one or two really witty quips that like everyone really sticks to and i think that's probably the reason why four doesn't gel with a lot of people but as the editor of that one i enjoyed doing that one because that one had like a lot of like moments that were more visual like sending uh like sending luxter to spain and then the following uh sending sarah to france or um, the the burning Luxor's house down kind of thing. A lot of that is just a lot of that is fun to me. Uh, all of the the uses of the gun Mario like finger, um, the uh, the subtitles in different languages while uh, Tippy and Buggy are speaking Spanish. Um, there's there's a lot of really fun visual gags in four. Which is why I'd, I'd rank four over two. Uh, one is just a classic. One is just really, really fun. And then uh, three is God, God tent. <laughs> like, absolute God tent. <laughs> three is just the best one. I don't, I, that one's going to be probably peak for a while. Alright, later, Lumi. Three had, like, visual and, like, witty quips. Visual and auditory, like, humor. That just kept hitting. Like, I loved editing the show stuff. <laughs> the show stopper was so fucking, like, S tier. Yeah, two, two was I. Two, I think my favorite part of two was the intro skit because like I edited it, I edited it like a um, like a like a like a, a police kind of true crime thing. The one I remember about two is the furry community is like the Tupperware cabinet, all bottoms and no tops. That's <laughs> still, that's pretty good, yeah. I still don't know what the showstopper is. The showstopper was the 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 basketball clip. It was uh, <laughs> it was when when Gastro uh, Gastro Haltman dunks Keyblade. One thing that sticks to me when it comes to three is, and that's why Martin never existed. I'm like, and I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, three is it's it's uncontestable. The one on Keyblade Master is the best police video, like without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, one is a classic. One is very like iconic. Four has a lot of very fun visual gags that I liked. Two was I. Two was okay. 
Had you with the place duos, 80 anime characters, yeah. Yeah, the 80s anime, like, stuff. I saw that, it was fun. When is the one that aged the best? Well, yeah, obviously. Code his hair still purple. Oh, right, I'm not supposed to say her name. Right, Redacted's hair is, is, pur Redacted's hair is purple. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Police 5 on that end. I'm a spiteful bitch, I'll figure something out, though. Stop A-logging. No, 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 no. You're the one that's A-logging. I need to keep her name out of my mouth at all times. I can't say her name. That's, that's, that's the thing. Like, she's, <laughs> she's fine with anything else, I guess. Just, I, I can't talk about her, uh, with, with her name in my mouth. Shrug. Even if it's something completely fucking innocuous. That was a joke. Therefore, you cannot criticize it, but I can criticize you for anything. Yeah, basically. I think she changed it to a light shade of pink after that video, and that's hilarious. Mm. <sighs> Cry mini. Speaking of redacted, did you guys see she made a commentary on another channel on Akumu that's made some points I swear I've heard before? Redacted? Plagiarizing points from another person? It's more likely than you might think. Speaking of redacted, do you think he's innocent? What? I don't get it. I'm so glad I don't keep up with 90% of SCC drama. I mean, yeah. All you need to know is I made a, a lost commentary video, kind of lost media, and that blew up in a really stupid situation because the person who was the target of that lost media, uh, thought that I was attacking them directly when I really wasn't, and yeah. It kind of blew up into this really big thing, I don't really want to deal with it. So I'm not going to. Besides, I'm bimbo times right now, I shouldn't really be thinking that hard about things like this. <laughs> It's just, it was such an innocuous video. I wasn't even thinking about her when I had made it. I just wanted to make lost commentary stuff. Because it was, I thought it was going to be fun. I thought people wanted, would want to see that stuff. Have I seen the new movie trailer? What new movie trailer? Movie trailer for what? All right, later, Kimaria. And Bimbo tones be like, no thoughts, head empty. Exactly. You know, for the rerun of Morbius and Thea. I saw that on Twitter and I'm like, you fools, when will you learn that your actions have consequences? I refuse to watch Morbius on principle. I genuinely think I'm just a sparkle dog, then vote by default. No, you're a scene girl. Slight difference. It's a very fine line you walk, but it's a line you walk nevertheless. <laughs> Seen girls and sparkle dolls are not dogs are not mutually exclusive. Exactly, you're a, it, it. <sighs> exactly. And girly wolf pup is is a seen girl at the end of the day, which is a very fine line. So 
because I hadn't been in a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh realm in forever, I didn't know about the change of heart being off the fan list after all this time. Yes! Uh, it was fucking newsworthy, apparently. IGN even covered that shit. It was like, yeah, change of heart got uh, put to one after 17 years. That's cool. Uh, but I didn't think anyone but Yu-Gi-Oh fans cared. Walk a fine line, the only line that I've ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I sway alone. Yeah, there you go. Going second card at best? I. Well, I mean, obviously. It has to be a sec going second card, otherwise your opponent's not gonna have anything. No shit, it's a good going second card. Change your heart off the ban list? No, it's, not, it's still on the FL list, it's just... It's at one now. You can now run one in a deck. But yeah, obviously it's a good going second card. Because there's literally, like... You can't use a card like that on turn one. What would you have to take? My local scene were saying that it's not too crazy nowadays. It's not really. Like it's it's cool that it's back, but it's a little silly that it's back too. I can see it being used for a lot of evil, but it's not it's no snatch deal, right? So We're, by the way, we're not quite at 30 minutes yet, so, you know, Bimbo Tones is still up. I've been keeping track of the, of the clock. Because I crashed my, uh, my OBS at, I think, an hour and six. And I started at, like, an hour and two. Yeah, so I crashed at 106. I started at 102. We're not quite at 30 minutes yet. I have to spend all of turn 3 prepping to beat you turn 2. You have nothing that can stop me. Throw down my change of heart. No, my turn 2 kill strategy. Oh, I mean... Look, not every car not every deck is an FTK deck. That's overblowing how bad Yu-Gi-Oh is. <laughs> As a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh is bad, but you kind of over overblow it. Who wins a million lions or Batman with prep time? A million lions. That's a lot of lions. Batman is just a guy. Me, who is still stuck in the time of 2012, 2013, has a small ass brain, doesn't understand anything about the current landscape of the game, and Master Duel hasn't exactly upped either. Yeah. There's more than just FTK, there's stall decks, you can't play decks, and occasionally the fun deck. Well, yeah, but that's the point. You know. Not every deck is an FTK deck, so Change of Heart will still have some, some use. Some use in main deck, even. Because it's like, you throw down that change of heart, you take uh, you take an opponent's card, presuming it can be targeted, and then you use it for, like, link summoning shit. I can see that shit being used for evil. It's not that hard to visualize. To 
be fair, I tend to make fun decks most of the time. I make fun decks too, but nobody seems to like them. Dr. Crafty really had a hard time playing against me. I don't know, Batman has beaten Dark Sets more impressive than beating a million lions. That's a million lions! That's a million fucking lions! Imagine a million lions! It doesn't matter what you've put the million lions up against, that's a million of them! That's a lot of lions! <laughs> I will learn BBBs and will get 8th place, damn it. I mean, go for it. And? And that's a lot of lions! <laughs> Batman is one guy. Even if he has been able to beat Darkseid or other superheroes, those are one-on-one. -on -one. We're talking a million lions. You cannot feasibly imagine what a million lions look like. It is... It is impossible to properly visualize a million lions. Due to that, I literally regressed back to replaying my old Nurse Burn deck. Well, Nurse Burn's not bad. You know, you have, um... You have, you have some outs for it, like, uh, what was it, gift card, obviously. Um, you have, uh, all or nothing. No. Is it all or nothing? No. <sighs> Great, now I have to dig out my own nurse burn deck. Give me a sec. Because now I'm trying to remember how... I'm trying to remember some card names that I haven't used in a hot minute. I know I have my nurse burn somewhere in here. Yeah, so, yeah, nurse burn's not bad. Uh, you sit there with, yeah, so you sit there with, with Dark Lord Nurse Reficule, obviously, because that's Nurse, it's Nurse Burn. Uh, and since, uh, Nurse Reficule is now a, um, a Dark Lord, uh, you can run Banishment of the Dark Lords and then run Condemned Witch, so you can have, like, a pretty consistent ability to get out Nurse Burn. Obviously, you have Bad Reaction to Samochi as, like, a, a, a Plan B. And then you sit there with, like, um... Gift card, the paths of destiny. Try and guess was the one that I was thinking of. And then you just throw with with try and guess. You just throw in like fifteen random fusion monsters because how often are you gonna run into a fusion deck? Even then, like you can uh, throw in pot of uh, what is it? Pot of extravagance or uh, pot of prospect or yeah. Pot of Prosperity or Pot of Extravagance, so you can have, like, some sort of, uh, draw engine going where you also, like, lower your, uh, your extra deck count, so try and guess, you know, uh, wouldn't, I mean, no, maybe that's a bad idea. Because, like, you're not going to be using your, your fusion deck, and try and guess is better for the person who has the most cards. Point is... Yeah, it's just try and guess, Paths of Destiny, Gifts Card, uh, Reficule, Condemned Witch, and Banishment of the Dark Lords. It's not a hard deck to build. And then you just throw in a bunch of random shit in your extra deck and just hope try and guess works out for in your favor. Alright, la uh, later, Randy. Also, hello, Frog Daisy. But yeah, I hope that helps you out, Loro, um, with your with your nurse uh, nurse burn. Uh, I don't really run nurse burn myself very frequently, but it's not a bad deck if you can get it working.
They are re-releasing Morbius in theaters tomorrow? I know, we talked a little bit about it here. Morbius sweep. I fucking refuse. I want. I refuse to watch that movie on principle. I wonder if Sony think people unironically love that movie and think it's re release will make a lot of money and nobody sees it. Here's the thing. Algorithms do not understand irony. People are watching it out of out of sheer irony. Say people are gaslighting themselves into watching it for a uh, for a line in the movie that's not even said. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Also, hello, Tangerine. Hello, Tim X-Link. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Right, yeah, people are gaslighting themselves to watch Morbius for a line that's not even said in the movie. Like, people are, are gaslighting themselves for it's Morbin time, but he never says it. It's really funny. That's a ship I haven't heard before. It's because Morbius is the first movie to sell a trillion tickets and has 203% score on Rotten Tomatoes. I frankly don't see the appeal of Morbius memes. I think it's just funny that, like, people are gaslighting themselves into watching it. I heard- I initially started hearing that movie was mid as fuck, and then I started hearing it was, like, actually fucking trash. So it's like, meh. I refuse to watch it on principle. Prepare to get more Scarlet Witch. I can just choose not to click all of your stuff. All of your... Your s attempts to send me Morbius. <clears throat> also, on that note, um... It's been 30 minutes. I like superhero movies. Yeah, I mean, I'm not... The last... The last MCU movie I watched was, uh, Iron Man 2. I have no real interest in following the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'd rather go back to the movies and watch Secrets of Dumbledore than watch Morbius. I haven't actually heard anyone talk about Secrets of Dumbledore. In fairness, a lot of people want to avoid talking about Harry Potter stuff because J.K. Rowling. And frankly, I don't blame them. There are better bad movies like Spike Kids 3 and the Super Mario Bros. movie. Fair enough. Dude, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do with that Mario movie. It has fucking... Oh, what's his name? The... The one that has Jack Black as Bowser. I can't remember. What's that? What's that dude's name? The um, point is, is I'm Chris Pratt. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. JK Rowling dance game. I mean, I don't blame anyone for having that reaction. As a as a longtime Harry Potter fan. Um, and as someone who still considers themselves a Harry Potter fan, I wish JK would shut up. I especially want JK to shut up, because I am a trans woman who is a Harry Potter fan. It blows. I need to pick a struggle, I know. But I can't really just cut off Harry Potter like that. I can't quit cold turkey. A lot of my viewer base uh, here on Twitch watches Harry Potter like speedruns. 
Which also is the reason I feel kind of obligated to buy Hogwarts Legacy when it comes out. So I'll probably play that. I'll play it so nobody else has to. I'll take the bullet. <laughs> JK Rowling STFU challenge impossible. Fair enough. Look, I'm, I'm just gonna... Look, when, when I play Hogwarts Legacy, I will just be aggressively trans. <laughs> I will just make it as obnoxiously trans as I possibly can. It'll be fine. Take estrogen on stream. I mean, I do take it in the morning. I could. Nothing's stopping me. It's, it's right here. I had my, my spirit, my, um, my, my spirit, uh, spirit electone and estradiol right here. Shake them like maracas. <laughs> I'm gonna put those away. <laughs> yeah, I take those every morning. Uh, and I stream in the morning, so, like, I can just do that on stream. I typically have it, like, literally right before I stream because I have it with my breakfast. To be fair, the devs of Hogwarts Legacy do decide to give you the power to make the most trans- uh, make a trans character that'll be the best middle finger to rally. Yeah. As someone who isn't a HP fan, JK Sexton is a bad person who's stinky, but I hate how people try to bully HP fans to stop buying Harry Potter stuff. Like, HP fans definitely have thought about it. And some have emotional attachment to the franchises. Yeah, exactly. I have a hard time just cutting it off myself. Like, it's it's kind of been something that I've, I've really enjoyed for a while. Like, obviously it's not perfect. There's a lot of criticisms you can have of the series. But, frankly, like... I, I enjoy the, the series too much to just cut it out. And again, a lot of my, a lot of my, uh, my following on Twitch came from Harry Potter speedrunning. So, by the time Hogwarts Legacy drops, I'm probably gonna have to get it. So. Can't stop people from supporting it, but I refuse to get into it now for obvious reasons. Fair enough. And again, as I said, when it comes to Hogwarts Legacy, I'll play it so nobody else has to. <laughs> I'll I'll play Hogwarts Legacy so the rest of you can judge it. <laughs> Nobody has only one person has to buy it. Only one. I can be that person and I will be obnoxiously trans playing it. <laughs> you choose the creator, not the media, exactly. But I will be obnoxiously trans. I will, I will make it, like, my goal to just be as annoying as possible when it comes to that. <laughs> and then the rest of you guys can judge the game. You guys don't have to get it. I'll play it so you don't have to. I know some people I'm usually follow on Twitter is just like, well, yeah, just drop Harry Potter. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I can't do the attachment. Exactly. Some people have had it kind of ingrained. It's like, it's like trying to drop, I don't know. I guess it's like trying to drop Disney cold turkey. Like, if you've grown up on Disney movies, like, you're going to have a hard time dropping it. Especially like that. Like, we all know Disney's not good. But we can't necessarily just drop Disney cold turkey like that. 
on top of that, if you did, uh, at this point, now you would have to also drop Star Wars and Marvel as well, and I know people aren't gonna wanna fucking do that. And again, at the end of the day, I play it so you don't have to. So y'all can just judge it through my playthrough. Uh. I do think it's kind of stupid, really. Hmm. I don't know. I worry about it. Toodle sacrificing yourself to play a new HP game. I mean, I'm already, like, people's target. I don't care. People talk about boycotting like it's the only way you can protest something. Yeah, I mean... It is the most effective. You know, the whole vote with your wallet thing. In JK's co case, it's a little bit more... Eh, because like... She does live in a castle. It's a little harder to just kind of vote with your wallet kind of thing. It's not going to really affect her, but... I, I get why people say that. Since WB had a hand in making the HP movies, does that mean we can't support DC Comics or another real studio since they're guilty by association? No. No, 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 no. There's a difference between trying to boycott Disney and not looking at Star Wars or Marvel and trying to boycott Harry Potter with with the rest of WB. Because on one end, boycotting Disney would have to you would have to, to stop watching Star Wars and Marvel because that does put more money in their pocket. That does like actively they, they don't have like any encouragement to, to really give much of a shit. Right? If we're gonna look at the boycotting method, boycotting uh, Disney, but still watching Star Wars, that's money that goes into Disney's pocket. You know, if figuratively speaking. Harry Potter does not really affect the rest of WB. Uh, Harry Potter is its own, like, IP. Yeah, WB has made, uh, just made the movies. They aren't owned by Rowling. Exactly. The idea of of boycotting in this situation is to keep is, is to prevent money from going into Rowling's pocket. And so since Rowling is the one that that made H uh, like Harry Potter, just cutting out Harry Potter would be the way to properly boycott something like that. You don't need to even touch the rest of WB because those are not owned by Rowling. Those are not uh, like uh, supporting. Um, DC Comics or NetherRealm doesn't therein put more money in J.K. Rowling's pocket. You know, doesn't put any more money in Joanne's pocket. That's that's the difference there. So it, so it is different from trying to say you're boycotting Disney and then have have to cut off Star Wars and Marvel because watching those, supporting those, buying that merch and stuff like that. That does go into Disney's pocket. Disney does own Lucas and, uh, and, and Marvel nowadays. Oh, no, I fully agree, but I'm just saying, from the perspective of, of, of the boycott, right? If you're going to try to boycott something, they're in trying to pick and choose what it is you boycott 
isn't going to really work properly. Uh, another, a another instance of that is trying to boycott, um, YouTube, but still supporting the rest of Alphabet, the people who own YouTube. Or trying to, or, or trying to protest, like, Google, I think is, an, is a better way to do it. Like, trying to boycott Google means you would have to cut out YouTube. But, like, Alphabet owns a lot of other things that you could probably find yourself supporting anyway. So you could still, like, you could still boycott Google. But still wind up supporting Alphabet, the people behind it. Try boycotting Apple or Google, exactly. Like, it's just not... It's not really feasible in a lot of areas. But, if we were to look at the boycott in that, that kind of light... If you were trying to look at boycotting something in that light, you can't therein pick and choose what it is you're boycotting. There's a case against boycotting, for example, what a lot of employees of bad companies ask for people to not boycott. I'm not saying boycott. I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying that boycotting is good or not. I'm just saying from the perspective of the boycott, you can, if you are choosing to boycott something, you can't there and pick and choose what it is you're boycotting. That's the point. I am not saying people should or shouldn't boycott. That's up to them. Personally, I think there are other ways you can protest against, um, like protest against an, uh, a, a problematic like company or some shit like that. That doesn't have to do with just cutting it out outright. That is like the go-to with people, but there are other ways you can protest. Uh, that doesn't have anything to do with like straight up boycotting anything. So. For instance, um, you can, you can donate shit to charity. Uh, to, uh, like, directly to charities that would, uh, go against what the problematic side is, 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 uh, believing. Like, this whole, what is it, don't say gay thing? And how Disney apparently doesn't support it, or does? I don't remember. I thought... I, I remember hearing a story where Disney got in trouble for the don't say gay bill. Point is, um, what you would do in that kind of situation is you would still support Disney, but you would, uh, donate a bunch of, uh, of, like, you, you could say, I don't know, um, trying to figure out how I would, like, word it. Like, you could, you could buy something from, like, Disney and then donate that to, like, a shelter or some shit, you know? I believe they did support it and then redacted their support and pissed off a lot of conservatives. Uh, something like that. Point is, there are other ways you can... There are other ways you can protest that doesn't require boycotting. But, if you do boycott, you can't pick and choose. That's the point, at the end of the day. <sighs> and in my case, when it comes to, to like, Harry Potter and Hogwarts Legacy. I mean, I'm a trans woman. I'm directly opposed to, to JK, like, intrinsically. I am very outspoken against, like, JK's beliefs. I have stated on several occasions publicly that JK needs to properly shut the fuck up. Um, I'm very vocal against, I mean, just the concept of TERFs anyway. Turfs is, or er, being a turf is not true feminist, of uh, not, not true feminism. Because you're actively, uh, picking and choosing which women get their rights and which women don't. Fucking look at your, look at your, yourselves before saying that you're a feminist. If you're a turf. No, it doesn't surprise me at all that JK is an enlightened centrist. It just makes
makes too much sense. But yeah. It, yeah, I'm sorry I feel very passionate about this topic. I have an emotional attachment to a lot of franchises and need my support for some of them would honestly emotionally wreck me. I have enough emotionally draining shit in my life as is. Fair enough. But yeah, no. Um. God, I'm tired. It's like 8.39. But yeah, as I was saying, um, yeah, no, being a TERF, you're not a feminist. Like, I know TERF stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist, but it's not, it's not feminism. It's not feminism if you're a TERF. Yeah, exactly, trans women are women, but if you're a TERF, you exclude trans women from the conversation outright. So you're excluding an entire population of women from the conversation because you don't want to acknowledge them. Feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. But if you're, if you're uh, taking out trans women from the occasion, uh, from the, 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 the conversation, then frankly, you're not having a conversation about feminism. <laughs> Some turfs say that Miss Sandry doesn't exist. And again, they're wrong. Like, one of, the, one of the things that's important for feminism is that, uh, is that it, or one of the, uh, like, staple beliefs of feminism, or the core beliefs of feminism, is that incorporate, uh, like, it believes that societies prioritize the male point of view and that women are treated unjustly within those societies. Which, you know, that in some places they are. Actually, I'd argue in a lot of places they are. America is included in that list. Um, but when you're... But, but, like, a TERF would believe that so far to the extent that they would... Well, they would prioritize a, a point of view that, as I said, actively excludes a specific population of women. Therefore... Being a TERF is not feminist. Being trans-exclusionary is not feminist. I understand you wish to have your conversation about, you know, uh, the right for an, or the right to an abortion and the right to, like, you know, your body, your choice, and stuff like that. Uh, I, like, trans women would typically fight behind that belief. You know, that's, that's a very, like, reasonable, you know, position to take um you know we you know we like trans women would fight for for women to have like equal pay and stuff like that to, to their male, male counterparts um you know we shouldn't prioritize just one point of view based on a sex you know we should prioritize you know both sides depending on the beliefs themselves. Like, these are things that trans women would typically fight for, but when it comes to the other side, or when it comes to vice versa, if this shit was flipped, if we were talking about trans issues, TERFs would just kind of turn their heads, because it's not their, it's not their battle. You know, it's not, not something that they care about. Trans women are just men who want to, to, in, what was it? They want to, uh, in, intrude on female spaces or some shit like that. Whatever, whatever TERFs believe. At the end of the day, it's, it's not feminism.
Yeah, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Yeah, it's, it's like being an animal rights advocate, but thinking that your dog has special priorities over, like, a uh, like, a, like a, a wild animal or an endangered species. It's, it's, that's not, that's not equality. <clears throat> you spotted some trans activists agreeing with the statement that misandry doesn't exist? Well, they're wrong. Misandry can exist. Just... Well, uh, I didn't mean to get so political tonight, but that's just kind of where the conversation eventually led, I guess. Typically, I think these calls only- I think these- these streams only ever really get political when Yoon's on. <laughs> when Yoon's on and Ephraim's in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, uh... Yeah, I guess you get- to, Guys get a little bit of my- My perspective on the matter, I guess. <laughs> I've grown a lot since like 2014, because th those would not have been my my beliefs in 2014. Change the topic before Jar comes. Jar's not in my chat, so I don't have to worry about that. Besides, Jar knows that I don't agree with him on everything. We've we've had conversations about it. You know, frankly, like. I don't know, those are not the beliefs I would have I would have held in 2014. I think I've grown a lot, at least on that end. It's, it's it I will I keep calling back to this, but it's 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 fun to remember that like back in 2014, 2015, 2016, and I think a little bit into 2017, it was just like a fucking anti SJW. I was, I was just, like, politically on the complete opposite side where I am now. Like, I'm not, I'm still not, like, extremely, I, I wouldn't call myself extremely, uh, left-leaning or, or liberal or anything like that, but. I'm definitely more on that side than I would have, than if, if I were to, like, talk about this stuff in 2014. <laughs> I think it's funny. I do recall those times. Wait, were you a viewer of mine back in 2014? I don't know how long you've been around then for. Or do you just remember generally, like, the anti-SJW craze? Because that's not hard to remember. There are still people who consider themselves as such. And to that I say, hey, fucking join us, we're in 2022. The world is burning, you can still have your political leanings, but SJWs are kind of a thing of the past. Quiet lurker just watching comms, fair enough, fair enough. Until 2018, I was a little scared to admit I liked your content because of the stuff you said back then. Fair and valid. I was an edgy prick back then. <laughs> I was awful back then. Everything pre-2019 is garbage. In this essay, I don't need to do anything. You just need to watch it. Okay, maybe not everything. The co-op with Ponder is still fun. 
the video with chaos minus that one interjection where I just fucking drop a hard R um for a point. You know, maybe that one was a little that was a little extreme, that was a little probably problematic, but Yeah, anything else, like, there's a lot of bad from that era. I don't really look back fondly, I don't really look back on it fondly. If my, my constant references to how fucking trash it was wasn't any indicator. Fun fact, it's not just self-deprecation. I genuinely hate the kind of fucking content I did back then. Oh, you watched that? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, the tryout with Monger Common Hobbs and I had not- I don't really look back on that one fondly, either. I think that video is, like, hella fucking toxic. I was under another account during your- during the YouTube streams to hide from a friend group so they don't see us in your content. Fair enough. As I said, I was awful back then. And I don't- I don't doubt that at all. By the popularity of stupid commentary. Ah, uh, yeah, Yoshi Player. I tried reaching out to Yoshi Player about something. I couldn't. I couldn't get a hold of him. I don't know if he do just doesn't remember who I am, or he doesn't want to associate, or doesn't want to talk. But I wanted to talk to him about that Animat stuff because it's important for a video that I want to do. From that moment on, I followed your channel and watched your comms. How? How did any of you guys fucking deal with me back then? This Dan Dango girl? Oh yeah, that name does ring a bell. You know, I don't know how any of you guys, like, tolerated my content back then. I was awful. I remember, what was it, 2018... People were starting to tell me that, like, Oh, Doodle, you lost your edge, you sound so bad now. Like, you used to, you, you came in, what was it, what was it that YouTube dude said? Uh, when, uh, if you look back at her content from 2016 and then look at her content now, and tell me which one sounds like the spunky up-and-comer, uh, that, you know, that's, that's, you know, that, that wants to be here, or the, the bored businesswoman who, who just wants to go to sleep or some shit like that, and I'm like, you know what? Frankly, looking back at my older content, if this is the edge that I've lost, good. <laughs> I hated, I hated that criticism so much. I still hate that criticism. Apparently, apparently there are people still saying that to this day, that I was better in 2016 because I had edge. I was, I was like... I was edgy, I wanted I I, pull, I didn't pull punches or some shit like that. It's like, no, that's bad criticism. That, the, 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 the doodle tones you saw back in 2016, 2017, a lot of that is bad criticism, just hands down. A lot of that, a, a lot of the, the content, a lot of the, the, the discussions, a lot of the arguments that I made, a lot of that is bad. <laughs> Like, people will tell you your old videos are good and your new videos are bad no matter what the quality of your old videos is. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> genuinely there was no constructive criticism back then. Even when I put in a disclaimer saying that, oh, you know, the, the link in the description is only there to see the source material. Uh, my, my commentaries are for the purposes of criticism and entertainment. Uh... Like, none of that is good criticism. Like, hardly any of it is good criticism. There might be some good points in there, there might be some fun jokes in there. There's a couple videos, there were a couple of diamonds in the fucking turd pile from 2016 and 2017, but they're very few and far between. They're not my best work, not by a long shot. And I'm glad that I'm doing what I'm doing now. 
even if now still also is pretty weak overall. Because there's always these small things that just kind of, kind of tug at my, my annoyances that I do in videos. Some things that I either miss, might have misunderstood, but I don't intend to ever reach perfection. I just intend to reach good enough, and I think that is kind of where I'm at now. People feel nostalgic in their view of the good old days are different how they actually were. Yeah. Well, in fairness, a lot of the people who tell me that a lot of my stuff from back then is better than it is now are people who think commentaries are just there to bully people. And it's like, that's... It's destructive. It's... It's reductionist. It's toxic. It doesn't help anyone. You're just belittling kids because I guess you think that's funny but that doesn't help people get better that doesn't help people grow that doesn't help people um that, that doesn't help people like understand what to do if they plan to get into a similar like field or a similar like genre similar style you know that's why I, I, I've, I've, I've come in with a lot more nuance on, on a lot of shit that I talked about back then. Since we're talking about our old content, when does the season 3 look back? Whenever I get to it. <laughs> so hey, Stag. Yeah, whenever I get to it. I can tell you for sure there are maybe two videos in that playlist that I can look back on fondly. Um... And a lot of Series 3, I'm not looking forward to, I'm not looking forward to going back in Season 3. The first video in there, the Maid's Nightmare Shift, I actually still really like that video. That video I think is probably one of my best from that era. Uh, the video on Angry John is a Yu-Gi-Oh video, so obviously that one didn't miss. Um... Yeah, the video on Ranked in Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't miss, because it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And... that's it! I don't remember any of the others being particularly good. Uh, so I'm not looking forward to doing Series 3 Look Back. Uh, definitely not. So, whenever it happens, it'll, it'll happen. But it's going to be a fucking painful trip. I don't, I really don't like a lot of the videos in Series 3. Like, there's a few videos I probably don't have much of an opinion of nowadays, but... Like... Yeah, like, what is it, King Ego Hates Me? I hate that video, it's so condescending. The Agosto Productions video is so unfunny, and for a riff video, that's it's really a bad sign. Uh, the YouTube Dude video misunderstood everything that YouTube Dude was trying to do. It took every joke way too seriously, and it's not particularly very good. The Lance Bays video is nothing the commentary for 16, uh, nearly 17 minutes. Seven months and your brain still sucks. Yeah, I mean, I... I talk about in the video how, like, oh, all of this stuff is public and, and what have you, but was it really? Like, obviously, yeah, Ranker Rants and, uh, and Peripus, you know, they fucking, like, accused me of a lot of things that just weren't true. They, they made a lot of assumptions and a lot of accusations and what have you, but, like, eh, I, don't, I don't know if all of my arguments, the whole water when you consider what might have been, like, available information at the time. Um, the Skull Sure to Gal TCG video, um, uh, I mean, it's a Pokemon video, I've never been good at those. Uh, The Train Has No Breaks is probably the most wasted potential that I've ever had for a video. 
Uh, the Phantom Strider video is garbage. The video on Green Scorpion is garbage, not helped by some of the people in there. Uh, cough, cough, we all know which one I'm talking about. Plus, the editing also sucks. The video on Green Scorpion just overall is pretty bad. Video on Mr. Enter, I really don't look back on pretty fond. I don't look back on fondly at all. It's so edgy for the sake of being edgy. Um, the video on Shieldsmeister is so fucking nothing. Uh, the video on the Game Theorist is also wasted potential. Uh, the video on Borg Productions is outdated as hell. The video on Review Tech USA is very, um... I mean, it was, it was outdated the moment it was uploaded because he already went back and corrected the misinformation that he had in that video. Video on Dre Video Log sucks. Video on Necotorious. While is not the worst video in the playlist by a long shot, I definitely wouldn't call it the best because a lot of that video just kind of boils down to yeah, uh, Horace and I do know a lot of shows. Yep, that's, that is what that kind of boils down to. Uh, the Joshua Tree video kind of feels a lot like I'm kind of making excuses for Joshua in a lot of areas. Um, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not like a bad video. I, like, retro, like, retroactively, I'd probably give it three stars, but, uh, for like a look back, it's very mid. Like, it's, it's okay, but I do feel like some of my points do kind of come off as excuses for Joshua's behavior. Which, for something that was called my magnum opus at the time, that's probably not a good sign. Um, the Calling Card of Weakness sucks. It's so uncomfortable to go back and rewatch. Um, the video on the BH Dude is also very outdated. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, video on Blaze the Movie Fan with Donnie. Donnie was okay. I fucking sucked in that video, though. <laughs> I was so fucking destructive. Video on Ephraim was just kind of nothing, and I kind of misunderstood the point. Uh, the video on Gmo Ski is ad hominem, the commentary. Um, Go Ranimate Chronicles is just an overglorified cringe compilation. Um, the whole time travel, like, mini plot thing that I did, none of those videos were particularly very good, except maybe the Metal Blade 5 one. Um, then the video on the Film Theorist is a fucking destructive reductionist mess of a video that's Horribly angry, overly emotional, and not fun to watch. Period. Everything else I'm don't, I don't really have much of an opinion on nowadays. Um, but I'm guaranteeing you, they're either mid as fuck, or they're just bad. So I'm not looking forward to that look back at all. That look back video is going to be pain. But I'll get to it eventually. I mean, it was only, what, a year ago when I did Series 2? So. We'll see. Anyway, season three sounds fun. Yeah, no, it's going to be awful. I get maybe a few moments of breathers from Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Because I'm pretty consistent with those. Everything else is not going to be fun to watch. Can we talk about pinball? I'm planning on popping off here in a sec. Because it is like 9pm where I'm at. I've been going for a bit, uh, especially considering this stream initially dropped and I had to come back a little bit later with, uh, because of technical difficulty bullshit. So, I think I'm actually just gonna hop off. Uh, but this was fun.
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the new, um, the new Bimbo Tones avatar. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the new PNG tuber avatar, just generally. Um, and yeah, it's, it'll, it'll be fun to just kind of switch between the two. Anyway. Alright guys.